All right, so it's the last one from me on the Belmont hype train, but we're just going to analyze the power there because some of the numbers that were coming out this weekend were absolutely outrageous. Uh, so Feather 1, then Cam Biddle, then Tom Arkell. Um, I made an, a solid appearance at, four, uh, at what 16th here. Absolutely unreal performance there. Uh, and if we could scroll down to the first one, because CTT don't actually understand how to run a website yet. Um, and Bexy Jew got a 348, no, 346 and a half, I think it was. Um, so a very, very solid performance there. Um, not not the course record, unfortunately, but pretty pretty decent. Um, and then I think Natalie Grincher came second, um, who didn't sack off UCR races, in case you were wondering, she, she didn't sack them off. Um, and I think Kate came third with a 354. Um, but we'll we'll go into the uh, the climb at the moment. So this is the best segment called Belmont Hill. There's two of them. One of them is a GPS error and says people are doing 30k an hour, 8% climbs. That's incorrect. This is the correct one. Um, so basically with 348, 1600 bam, so pretty solid. Uh, my predictions for that would be about six and a half, I'd say, what's per kilo. Uh, that would be the um, rough prediction. Apparently Beth Jones did pretty well, but her like timings have been messed up by a CTT or something. Um, and then came into four or nine, um, so we didn't get a person uploading who came second, uh, which is fair enough. And then Lily Sanders, I think, must have come like fourth or fifth. Um, but we can have a look at her file um, here, which was 5.7 watts per kilo, and she was like 30 seconds down. So do quick maths, probably like 6.5 to 6.8 watts per kilo for the 3-minute three, three minute 48 effort for Beck Stew, which is very, very solid. Um, should be a fair few men as well. Um, so pretty solid, but not not quite a course record, um, but still a very solid performance and pre Pretty hard to beat, to be honest. Um, she's won almost every hill climb this year, so a very strong performance again. Um, we'll then we'll go to the men quickly as well, um, because there's more power data, which I think is obviously a bit more interesting to analyze than just Strava files with Strava estimated power. Um, Andrew Feather won um, with 575 watts, uh, which is, is unbelievable. Uh, he weighs 63 kilos, so it's about 9.2 watts per kilo. Arkel did 556. Um, he's a fair bit happier actually, um, but he's he's says seven and a half, and Cam Biddle doesn't have a power meter, but he would have done you know probably seven and a half to eight watts per kilo because a bit smaller, so probably needs a bit more watts. Um, but anyway, we'll get into Andrew Feather's climb at a moment. Um, he did yeah, so the official time I think was two fifty five, um, so this is two fifty six, so more or less the same time. Uh, so sprinted decently hard out the gate, seven hundred eighty watts, but nothing crazy. Um, and then set it down to 582. So often I think people go quite hard for the first minute. And we can see here that he did. Um, sorry, he didn't. For the highest power was the last minute, which was 600 watts for the last minute, which is 9.5 watts per kilo. It's going 26.5k an hour for 8.5% gradient, which is very solid. I'd say most people then go out too hard. Um, I generally think, thought that would be a faster strategy. But I guess for him, he did 605 for the first 51 seconds, which is is probably actually quite hard. But then he gets to then he gets to the downhill section, which is here, which is well, it's quite a technical climb because you, you do get some speed here. And he drops the power only down to like 468. But if we look on this bar, he's doing like 373 watts down this sort of corner here. Um, it, it, luckily, it was dry on the day, so that there was no need to uh, worry about sliding out. And then as soon as you get here, it really kicks up again. It obviously the, the profile is a bit rubbish, but it does get decently steep, which you can more tell, if anything, by the uh, lack of speed here. And he surged quite hard up here, did 581. But generally, it's a pretty pretty even ride from Feds. Feds start hard, um, then sort of obviously a bit, a bit soft pedaling down here, and then Raz the last part. And um, it's pretty impressive he did his best minute power at the end, because um, I think most people generally fade. Um, you can definitely definitely count me in that. Now we're going to go to uh, Tom Arkell, because bit all the, again, there's nothing to analyze. So I'm going to analyze people's Strava estimated power, unfortunately. Um, so he started a lot harder, did 1,057 watts off the start line. Um, Arkel probably is a lot more punching than Feather, so probably wouldn't be as much of a, an issue. Um, but yeah, you see here 7.4 watts per kilo. He does have mild power meal, which is uh, known to be very accurate. Um, maybe not. Uh, but I think he potentially could be a little bit lighter because I'd expect it to be the watts uh, per kilo be a little bit higher. But 5.56 on this climb, it definitely is a watts climb. Um, but again, Arkel will we'll see his first first minute was 594 watts, so not not too dissimilar to Feather. But the issue is with Arkel, he's you know 75 kilos, Feather's like 63. Um, again, for the first minute was what I thought most people do, which is generally the first first minute is the hardest. So 594 watts, um, 29k an hour, which is just unbelievable, really, um, absolutely flying the man. Um, and then the second half, obviously, again he did the same thing, just dropped the power here, and then really razz it up towards the end. Um, and he was doing 7.3 watts per kilo for the last minute 51, um, 550 watts. So again, a pretty even effort to be fair. Like mostly people who are decent, uh, 
and know how to ride a bike, I uh, will not pace it too badly. Um, some people I know go off way too hard. Uh, in terms of Biddle's ride, again, there's, there's not much to analyse. Um, but yeah, that, that's the sort of power you need to win Belmont. Um, so if, if you actually look at an all-time record, it didn't come close to 2018. And 2018 here, um, Sam Lindsay did for eight and a half horse per kilo. But the, the reason he didn't come close is just because, obviously, it was closed road, so he could cut a little bit. But the tail one now was absolutely mental that day. Um, so that's that's the way it was. Um, and if we look over, obviously, in my ride, we'll, we'll do last. Um, I actually got seated right next to Biddle and Feather, which was hilarious. I was going to get caught by old Feathery, but luckily for me, Feathery didn't catch me. Um, so here, if we the climbs are 7.2, but if we do the actual bit, 7.4 watts per kilo for me, which is about what I did in 2018. So that was obviously like the last time I did proper hill climbs. Obviously, last year I was um, had a fair few broken issues, uh, broken bones, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, I was I was relatively happy. I didn't whack any caffeine before and felt significantly better. Um, again, I started out hardish, 477 watts for the first minute. Um, and then just held on, to be honest. Um, I was dying pretty badly towards the end, 4.22 for the last two minutes. So it probably did go out a little bit too hard. Probably should have dialed it back to 4.60 and then tried to whack more here. Because you can see I'm only doing 22k now out this 8% climb. But anyway, it is what it is. It says I'm a UCI pro, which is bollocks. Um, but, you know, we do um, we do love to see it. Um, so yeah, it was a good day out for all involved. A very enjoyable hill climb. And uh, cheers to Ted Cross for organising it all. Um, it was absolutely legendary to have a... Uh, Closed roads for once, um, and a big fan of it. So, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.